Hello, John. Uh, my name's Gary. Uh, this is my 1973 Dodge Challenger Rally 340. Uh, true factory 340 four speed car. Uh, I've basically owned it about 10 years now. Uh, I've done a few things to the car, not that many. Pretty much it was the, the cars that I bought except for the color. And this car came from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, it's been a great car. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. And a, a very short story on this car. Uh, I was in the market in 2010 trying to buy a Mopar. I went to the Mopar Nationals and I saw this car there on the last day of the event. And I talked to the owner and to me it was a great car, but I wanted to have some time to think about it. I came home and I shopped for a Mopar for a whole year. Still couldn't find anything. I called the guy back and I told him, I said if he still had the car, and he said, yeah, we're still sitting in the garage. And guess what? I flew to Knoxville, Tennessee, and I bought this car, and I drove it all the way back to Texas. Hey, and can you tell me about the color scheme for your car, first of all? Sure, John. Uh, the car was originally an, an autumn brown from the factory, a metallic. It's called a GK6, I believe. Uh, to me, it was a unique color. Uh, I liked it personally, but my painter told me that if I was going to repaint this car, that he wanted the car to be a different color. So we got our heads together and we decided to go with this green, which is called a Synergy Green. It's a, actually a, a Chevrolet color. It's a, almost like a candy apple green. And I really like it. It turned out pretty nice. The only problem we had with this green is that it came out a little bit darker than what the Camaro uh, green did, and that's because my painter shot it in a gray primer versus a white primer. If we would have went with the white primer, it would have been a little bit brighter. But overall, I'm really happy with the color, John. Okay, and what about anything with the tires and your rims for your vehicle? Sure, John. Uh, the, uh, those are weld wheels from the factory. They're 15. They came with the car. The only thing that I did is I replaced all new rubber on all four wheels. Uh, they were a little, little worn when I got them, so these tires are new, and I, I'm real happy with them. They're, they don't rub on the fender wells or anything in the back. I've got plenty of clearance. So they're, they're doing the, the job for me that I like. And let's take a look at your engine and can you tell us a lot about the other work that you've done with this engine? Okay, John. Uh, the motor is pretty much what it is. I bought it from the, the old owner. Uh, I've got documentation on the, the motor. It's been rebuilt. It's got about 12,000 miles on it. Uh, it's got some performance goodies on it. It's got TTI headers. It's got a 69 dated block on it, which the 69 motor had a lot more horsepower than the 73 did. So it's more on the performance end. It's got polished and ported heads, adjustable rocker arms, and it's got a Mopar, a, me a mechanical camshaft with a 557 lift with crane uh, adjustable rocker arms on it. And it's a pretty stout running 340 car. Uh, it it really revs pretty good for what it is. And the other performance goodies on it, John, it's got MSD electron uh, ignition on it, which helps the spark. It's got a uh, an Eldon Brock 800 CFM carburetor on it. And uh, I have a lot of people asking me what that little silver can is right there right in front of the uh, the uh, 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 master cylinder and what that is it's an extra container to hold air pressure 
that goes back to the disc brake uh, reservoir to give me more pressure for my brakes because when you run a high lift camshaft you you lose a lot of vacuum pressure and what that does it, it feeds that canister to give me more pressure to where I have stopping power on it John is there anything original with this car that when you bought it is still on uh the rear ends probably the only thing that's pretty much original uh I did change out the gear so that wouldn't be uh, original but the housing's all original uh the car is a true 344 speed car uh the four speed is no longer there I upgraded it to a uh a Kessler five-speed overdrive, which is a really nice smooth transmission uh, So that's pretty much Pretty much it on the drivetrain John. I mean uh, non-factory uh, Original motor and non Non-original transmission everything's been performance upgraded on the car in and how many miles do we have on the car Gary? Uh, I bought it with 10 10,000 I've owned the car for about 11 and I've put about 2,000 miles on the car since I've owned it So it's got about 12,000 miles and this fin uh, that you have on the hood is that factory or is that part of the car? Uh, that is an authentic uh, Reproduction spoiler they call that the gold wing and, and it came on 71s only I put it on there because this car is a 73 so that would be pretty much the newer spoiler closest to the year model and I like it a little bit better than the uh, than the gold wing and what do you like most about this car Gary John it's got to be that it's got to be that five-speed transmission it's a stick car I mean back in these days I mean people people really love the, the, the four-speed transmission cars and now they're harder to find in today's world so that would be that'd be my favorite option on the car and back in 1973 how much you how much did this car cost if you wanted to buy it from a dealer well me grow, growing up in the 70s I wasn't quite old enough to buy these I wasn't quite at that age but I would I, I mean I I've, I've been reading a lot of reports on these cars uh, this rally here with that four speed with the performance stuff that came from the factory this car would probably run you about $3,500. Wow. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at your interior of your car, Gary. Okay. Now, talk us, tell us about the seats. Okay, John. First of all, the, 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 the seats are pretty much original, but they've been redone. They've been repadded. And it's got more of a 70s scheme to it. They call that diamond tucked interior, which is cloth. And that's pretty much the way they did it back in the 70s. Uh, but they did come originally from the factory and they were vinyl, all vinyl. All right, very nice clean interior. Well, hey, thanks a lot, Gary. And is there any way that if anybody has any questions about your car, can you, do you have an email address? Uh, I sure do, John. Okay, so I'll put that in the description over here with the video. Hey, thanks a lot, Gary, for sharing this quick video and telling us about your 1973 Mopar Dodge Challenger. And, uh, hey, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.